Hey guys, uh, just want to say hello. Hello, hi. Uh, how are ya? Yeah. Me too, yeah. Uh, I probably connected to like 1% of you just then. Um. Ha! I've been doing pretty good. Uh, I've been, uh, I've play, been playing poker. I, I mean, I always have been played poker for a long time. I've always been really good at it, kind of got it conceptually, and I like watching people's body language and using them and abusing them at the table. Um, that's also kind of why I haven't played poker for so long is because I don't kind of feel bad about abusing people, like ripping them apart as they sit in front of me. But at the same time, it's good money, and it's fun, and it's it's friendly. I mean, for the most part, it sucks when people are like, God damn it! And they throw their cards down, they get up, and they walk, they like storm out of the room. But, you know, you're raking in the chips, and they come back eventually, and you see them again, and they're calm, and they're not angry at you, they're angry at themselves for losing the money. So, that's just one aspect of it, man. I went to this casino in down in Commerce, California, this poker casino, and just, I was there for 22 hours straight, I played poker. It was amazing. I mean, it's not like that's that big of a deal for me, I, I stayed up for a lot longer periods of that, but... To, fo to focus on a task, you know, there's just all these new people, constantly m meeting new people, talk barely talking, I barely said anything, I just sit there and, and focus on the numbers and the rhythm of the cards and, and the rhythm of people, and like, it's so fun to mock people, like, when you figure out someone's rhythm, you can use that against them, because like, if someone's got a rhythm and then you use that rhythm and do something that they, like, you, if you do what they would do when they got shitty cards, when you have good cards... They think you have shitty cards. And every once in a while, you come across a person who's kind of smart. So you just wait a few hands, and then you get smarter than them. It's real easy. Um, and you, you use their own rhythm against them. And they don't know you're doing that. They just think you're a supreme poker player. So that's kind of cool. But then they'll if people stroke your ego, you got to be careful because you got to ignore it and keep playing and keep focusing on the cards and let them just blah, blah, blah. Ah. Oh. It's really fun, too, because then one thing I, I enjoy, the thing is I like it too much because I win, but then I like it so much that I'll experiment with different ways to lose and lose, and then, but I won't lose everything. I'll just lose a little bit and then have to win it back. Um, but I do think it makes me a better poker player, especially right now while I'm in the beginnings of like this casino work to, uh, to, to figure out different ways of fucking up so that I don't do it again. But then everyone's like, discipline, man, discipline. Specifically, people like you need discipline, man. Because if I have the discipline, I'll go in there with forty bucks and come out with a thousand or eight hundred. Without the discipline, I'm up like two hundred, and or or less or more. But discipline, like, because I've got this this mindset of like, it's okay if I lose money as long as I have more than I went in with, and that's something I want to get out of my mind because I want to I want to think like, uh, I can't lose money. There, there are no hands to joke around with in poker. I can win every hand. I mean, that's how you win tournaments and stuff. And I'm excited to see the potential of putting that into action. It's a fun job. I mean, as a job, it's so fun. It's so easy. I, I, I get to, there's like low points where I'm like, I just want to leave. I just want to go home. And, and usually that's like when I haven't hit my, my goal for the night or something. Um... But then there are times when I'm just like having so much fun and, and I'm like loving it, loving, you know, like loving every minute, like just listening and, and the fun and the dealers are so cool. I'm like meeting all these dealers and getting to know them all and they, they cycle around and like all these different crowds that come in and leave and come in and leave and like throughout the night and then they have a really good uh, $2, to $2 breakfast special, which is pretty cool. And you know, honestly, it's better than waiting tables and it's free money for the most, it's cash money. Uh... Yeah, it's chill, you drink water, I drink water, um, I had a milkshake, that was kind of nice, so I, that's what I did yesterday, and the day before, uh, and uh, we've been recording, we, we've got the, uh, the album is pretty much geared to come out this, this spring, summer. I think it'll be totally completed. We're going to have our first single ready way sooner than that. Probably, I mean, if all goes according to plan, probably in the next two weeks or less, This our first single will be up. Um, really, I think what's going to happen is we'll put it up on iTunes for download, 
and uh, and then get to work on a music video. Um, and it's a great song. It's called Roger. Uh, I, you, I think you've seen it. You've seen it live. So it, it's on my. I got a YouTube video of it up. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's called Roger. Uh, about a friend of mine, Roger Albert, who died. He was a, the boring. He was well. He's the dispatcher, and then he became the boring dispatcher, and then he became the failed vlogger all on YouTube, and then he died. He had a heart attack or something. Um, but uh, he, you know, he, uh, he's a he's a nice guy. He was a great guy. He was a cool guy. It's really funny. I'm looking forward to getting that up. I'm looking forward to getting a music career going so that I don't have to worry about out other outlets. I mean, I'll always enjoy playing poker, but I don't like relying on, like, I don't like thinking about having, I mean, I'm probably maybe I'll always have to think I have to make money because as soon as I make enough to pay off what I do now, there's something else I want to get. Like, I'm not lying. I want to build huge structures in the desert. Like, I want to build a solar updraft tower, which would be hundreds of thousands of dollars, possibly in the millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't know how much it's going to cost. And, like, try and raise, like, a scientific community around it and, like, experiment out in the desert or, like, in the moon. I'd like to do space program work and, like, like Branson style, Richard Branson style, like, dude just built that, that flying jet that can go underwater. Like, I want to do, do stuff like that. So money is probably always going to be an issue with me. I'm not going to complain about it because I have enough. I come from money, and I have money, and I, I'm not disappointed or sad or angry at all with the money system. This is my friend Ryan calling. So I'm going to get going, but take care. Uh, I'll talk again soon.